Okay, everyone, update here. We are 12 kilometers. There we go. Whoa, smart cruise control. Oh, wow, this is real turtle mode here. I guess you have to do it manually. Whoa, whoa power limited. We just hit 0% displayed. But yeah, it's still 5% SOC and BMS. Wow, so you get the turtle mode here and no, well, just one kilometer of estimated range. But yeah. Uh, let's see, 72 kilo. It doesn't seem like the output's limited. You can see the live uh, battery day right there. You just have to drive it manually, I guess. But that's zero, zero and a half percent. But yeah, exits in uh, 12 kilometers here. Let's see. I don't even know if I can maintain 140. Might just have to go 138 here. But yeah, four and a half percent SOC BMS. So yeah, we're at zero kilometers estimated range. And yeah, Wild Horse Road right there. So yeah, four percent, four and a half percent SOC BMS. So that's just six more miles to go. I'm gonna go 130 right now. That's the speed limit because yeah, three and a half percent. But yeah, power limited, zero kilometers of estimated range. So yeah, that is uh, you burn a lot. You burn a lot going fast, and you just have to know that. So yeah, charge it up to 100. Yeah, three and a half. I've never dipped below zero before, so yeah, I'm just gonna take it slow here. Not gonna really want to test too much the throttle, but yeah, like I said, the test is over at 286 kilometers. That many miles. I'll have the final stats once I get to the charger. If I get to the charger, uh, I should be able to make it there. But yeah, going to speed limit right now, 128, uh, 80 miles an hour. Uh, if you try to, yeah, smart contr cruise control conditions aren't met. Luckily, the comma is still doing the. Uh, driver assistance and it'll just keep popping up power limited turtle mode so yeah it's just um yeah three percent bms three percent state of charge in the actual uh, battery management system but yeah i'm going to go down to 120 75 miles per hour two and a half percent but yeah luckily there's a slight decline here is the uh, climate control not working uh let's see this is the screen you get once you're at zero so yeah it says barely gonna make it the days I think the climate control actually shut off yeah climate control is not working right now once you're at zero I guess it shuts the AC compressor off but yeah we use the final stats right there 89% drivetrain 6% climate 4% electronics I guess 1% for battery cooling but yeah that's weird so yeah the AC is totally disabled once you're at zero the AC compressor is idled forced idled so I guess it is trying to save power. Two and a half percent SOC BMS. Two percent SOC BMS. Two percent. Kind of wishing I took that last exit there on the frontage road. But yeah, three kilometers to the exit. Yeah, this is nerve wracking. I think I'll make it, but yeah, very, very close. Very close. One and a half percent SOC BMS right now. One and a half percent. One twenty kilowatts. Being very gentle on the battery right now. Still an eye pedal, so we'll go full regen on the exit. But gentle regen because uh, yeah, one and a half percent SOC BMS. Okay, I'll put the flashers on here. The exits in eight hundred meters. And it's getting squirrely here at 1% SOC BMS. Looks like light traffic behind. We're taking the exit here. And this is yeah the scariest I've ever been. But I know this is just for a range test. You need to understand that. Just for a range test. But yeah. And luckily there's a buffer below zero. But 1% BM, SOC BMS, I do not want it to get too, uh, too low. So at least we've exited the freeway here. 1% SOC BMS, look, it's a yield sign here, so we should be able to coast all the way. Let's see the, um, oh, that's why, because the hazards are on. I guess I disabled itself temporarily, but yeah. Applying gentle regen here, 12 kilometers of regen. 12 kilowatts of region, sorry. And over here, I'm gonna do full manual driving on this point forward. Looks like it's clear, we're gonna be very gentle. Very, very gentle. It's, it's uh, chiming now, it might be, uh, okay, 1% SOC BMS, 1% SOC. Uh-oh, uh-oh, there's a blockage of the road. Oh my goodness, you gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna yeah, um, go 
through here. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Oh, I have to cut through the, ho the motel. I, I cannot uh, wait, unfortunately. Yeah, it is really low. 1% SOC BMS. Thank god there was this a motel parking lot. Oh my god. Whew. That is crazy right here. Oh my god, the charger's in sight. Whew. And I have to back in. So hopefully it still has. I do not want to see it go below 1%. This is uh, scary here. Looks like we have another car plugged in. But yeah, um, whew, looks like we're going to make it barely. What the hell's going on here? Oh, power limited. Oh my goodness, dude. Is that a ram? Whew. So yeah, it looks like I make it to the charger. Um, the, they're going to move their vehicle and then I'll plug in. But this, this is kind of scary. Battery's down to 581 volts. This is, um, yeah, very interesting. But yeah, I'll back in and plug it in and see what happens. But that's going to be it for this video of running the Kia EV6 down to zero. Keep in mind that the vehicle will give you some warnings before. There's a warning at 10% and then another warning at 5%. And overall, the range estimator was pretty accurate. At 10% it said I was about 10 kilometers short of making it to the charger, and that's about 6 miles. And eventually, after zero, I traveled 12 kilometers or 7.5 miles beyond zero. So if I took action at that time at 10%, slowed down a little bit, I probably wouldn't have eaten up as much into the below 0% buffer. And of course you can also use third-party tools like a better route planner, which has a website and a mobile app so you can plan your trips. And I would just advise to leave about a 40 kilometer or 20 mile buffer just to account for headwinds or changing weather and anything like that. And also if you arrive with a higher state of charge, you can use the interior AC outlet to power stuff like a laptop or battery preconditioning in the winter, both of which shut off at 20%. So yeah, not too unexpected, but it was an interesting experience to run the EV6 down to zero. Thanks for watching everyone. Be sure to check out the companion video where I do a full charge curve test and analysis from zero to 100%. And also get subscribed so you don't miss out on other EV6 videos, including EV road trips and ADAS driver assistant tests with the Comma 3X. 